one solution that they can solve this running game's problems? No, we just got to keep attacking it. Um, you know, keep going back out to practice, getting better. You know, some things that we all can improve on, but no, I think we just got to keep working, keep keep sticking with it. Would you like to see a few more runs to the edge, speed sweeps, instead of just a lot of zone read and a lot of up the middle? Uh, personally, for me, um, it really doesn't matter. You know, whatever he calls, but um, whatever it is, you know, you just want to make the right read and, you know, hit it. Do you think if you guys got more run calls, you guys would be able to maybe more establish a rhythm? Or? You want to see him, like, stay with the run a little bit more, more calls, I can say, happen, things of that nature? Uh, I think, um, you know, of course, you know, you want to be able to get into a rhythm. I mean, if it, with anything, you're not able to get into a rhythm, it hurts. But, um, I mean, I feel like all the runs were, that were called were good runs. Um, you know, we just got to continue to, you know, keep going, sticking with it. How big a factor are the offensive line injuries and all that? I think it's 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 a factor, but you know, like I said, I mean, everybody's been taught the same thing, you know. So we have to go out there and uh, you know, execute. Guys, how important are run pass options in this offense? I think they're very important. Like I said, I mean, it, it allows it, it pretty much puts the defense in a bond where they can't be right, you know. So if they want to load the box, we'll, you know, we'll pass it. If they want to, uh, you know, drop in coverage, we'll run it. How, how many of those plays in the, maybe the second half of the Texas A&M game before you guys went down 24-17 were run pass options? Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember. Um, I'm not, I'm not, I don't think it was too many, too many calls. Well, I think we have a tag on, on most of our runs, but I really can't remember to be exact. Um, what do you look for? Pre-snap to know in those RPOs whether or not you're going to get the ball. Is it the box? Pretty, is it? Yeah, we're reading the box. Reading the box. I mean, if they're if they're. Uh, they're kind of collapsing in, then of course we kind of know, you know we're probably going, we're going, probably going to pass it, but um, they kind of spread out, then we're probably going to run it. Because of the way the run game has gone, when you got when you guys are getting carries, maybe yourself even even seeing from the other running backs, are you guys almost trying to hit home runs like every time you get a carry, just because I mean I know like if, how many runs you guys are going to get for them. Um, no, I don't think I don't think it's us trying to hit a home run every time we get the ball. Eventually, we know it's going to open up. So, I mean, you know, every run is not going to break. So you kind of have to hit it in there, hit it in there. And then, you know, after a while, you know, eventually it'll, it'll break. They'll start to wear down. I know it's frustrating and disappointing any time you lose a game. But when you look back at the um, offensive numbers from this past weekend, just 23 total yards in the seven sacks, it's become even more frustrating because you realize that despite those numbers, you're right there in the game. Yeah. You had it. Yeah. I mean, we had that game. Um. You know, it's just that's why it's so frustrating. You know, going the, going the road, winning control of the game. You know, we just got to finish it. You got to have more of that killer instinct. It hurts. You said the word finish right there. I mean, has that kind of been the main message this week? Is there anything else you guys have been talking about as a unit? Um, no, that's a new week. We're gonna reset, refocus, because I mean, this game could be different. Um, you know, we don't know how it's gonna play out. I mean, with, with regardless of the circumstance, we got to be ready for you know each and every circumstance. And you know, whether we're up by a lot, down by a lot, you know, we have to be able to. Manage it and be able to, you know, win, win the game. Tyson, you said killer instinct. Would would you like to see maybe, you know, some more aggression on offense? Some, you know, some deep shots down the field, or, or try to to get more explosive plays. Um, I mean, if we do that, that helps. But I mean, I think the plays that were called were good. I think we, it was as far as I was talking more of an execution standpoint. You know, we just gotta we gotta execute. Um, yeah, we just gotta execute, man. Finish the game. As running backs, what specific kind of things were you talking about in terms of pass protection coming off of uh, that A&M game? Yeah, and um, one of them I, I, I missed too. So, you know, it's not just all on our offensive line. Um, you know, we all have to come together and, you know, improve and correct our mistakes. Um, like I said, we all know what to do. We've been coached well. Um, we just got to go out there and do it. It is a lot about, about that, just sort of figuring out that moment when you're staying in and then you kind of can leak out and kind of figure out exactly when is the right time to, to go out and around? Yeah, yeah, we, we know, we know. Um, it's just like I said, you know, whatever it is, whether they're bringing pressure, we've got to be able to pick it up. If they're not, you know, get out of your route. We kind of we diagnosed that kind of quick.